At Madura. Translated by Bhikkhu Sujato. So I have heard. At one time, Venerable Maha Kachana was staying near Madura, in Gunda's Grove. King Avantiputta of Madura heard, It seems the ascetic Kachana is staying near Madura, in Gunda's Grove. He has this good reputation. He is astute, competent, clever, learned, a brilliant speaker, eloquent, mature, a perfected one. It's good to see such perfected ones. And then King of Antiputta had the finest carriages harnessed. He mounted a fine carriage and, along with other fine carriages, set out in full royal pomp from Radura to see Maha Kachana. He went by carriage as far as the terrain allowed, then descended and approached Maha Kachana on foot. They exchanged greetings, and when the greetings and polite conversation were over, the king sat down to one side and said to Maha Kachana, Master Kachana, the Brahmins say, Only Brahmins are the highest caste, other castes are inferior. Only Brahmins are the light caste, other castes are dark. Only Brahmins are purified, not others. Only Brahmins are Brahma's rightful sons, born of his mouth, born of Brahma, created by Brahma heirs of Brahma. What does Master Kachana have to say about this? Great King, that's just propaganda. And here's a way to understand that it's just propaganda. What do you think, Great King? Suppose an aristocrat prospers in money, grain, silver or gold. Wouldn't there be aristocrats, Brahmins, merchants and workers who would get up before him and go to bed after him and be obliging, behaving nicely and speaking politely? There would, Master Kachana. What do you think, great king? Suppose a Brahmin, a merchant, a worker prospers in money, grain, silver or gold. Wouldn't there be workers, aristocrats, Brahmins and merchants who would get up before him and go to bed after him, and be obliging, behaving nicely and speaking politely? There would, Master Kachana. What do you think, great king? If this is so, are the four castes equal or not? Or how do you see this? Certainly, Master Kachana, in this case these four castes are equal. I can't see any difference between them. And here's another way to understand that the claims of the Brahmins are just propaganda. What do you think, great king? Take an aristocrat who kills living creatures, steals and commits sexual misconduct, uses speech that's false, divisive, harsh or nonsensical, and is covetous, malicious, and has wrong view. When their body breaks up after death, would they be reborn in a place of loss, a bad place, the underworld, hell, or not? Or how do you see this? Such an aristocrat would be reborn in a bad place, that's what I think but I've also heard it from the perfected ones. Good, good, great king. It's good that you think so, and it's good that you've heard it from the perfected ones. What do you think, great king? Take a Brahmin, a merchant, a worker who kills living creatures, steals and commits sexual misconduct, uses speech that's false, divisive, harsh or nonsensical, and is covetous, malicious and has wrong view. When their body breaks up after death, would they be reborn in a place of loss, a bad place, the underworld, hell, or not? Or how do you see this? Such a Brahmin, merchant or worker would be reborn in a bad place. That's what I think, but I've also heard it from the perfected ones. Good, good, great king. It's good that you think so, and it's good that you've heard it from the perfected ones. What do you think, great king? If this is so, are the four castes equal or not? Or how do you see this? Certainly, Master Kachana, in this case these four castes are equal. I can't see any difference between them. 
And here's another way to understand that the claims of the Brahmins are just propaganda. What do you think, great king? Take an aristocrat who doesn't kill living creatures, steal, or commit sexual misconduct. They don't use speech that's false, divisive, harsh, or nonsensical. And they're contented, kind-hearted, with right view. When their body breaks up after death, would they be reborn in a good place, a heavenly realm, or not? Or how do you see this? Such an aristocrat would be reborn in a good place, that's what I think. But I've also heard it from the perfected ones. Good. Good, great king. It's good that you think so, and it's good that you've heard it from the perfected ones. What do you think, great king? Take a Brahmin, merchant, or worker who doesn't kill living creatures, steal, or commit sexual misconduct. They don't use speech that's false, divisive, harsh, or nonsensical. And they're contented, kind-hearted, with right view. When their body breaks up after death, would they be reborn in a good place, a heavenly realm, or not? Or how do you see this? Such a Brahmin, merchant or worker would be reborn in a good place. That's what I think. But I've also heard it from the perfected ones. Good. Good, great king. It's good that you think so, and it's good that you've heard it from the perfected ones. What do you think, great king? If this is so, are the four castes equal or not? Or how do you see this? Certainly, Master Kachana, in this case these four castes are equal. I can't see any difference between them. And here's another way to understand that the claims of the Brahmins are just propaganda. What do you think, great king? Take an aristocrat who breaks into houses, plunders wealth, steals from isolated buildings, commits highway robbery and commits adultery. Suppose your men arrest him and present him to you, saying, Your Majesty, this man is a bandit, a criminal, punish him as you will. What would you do to him? I would have him executed, fined or banished or dealt with as befits the crime. Why is that? Because he's lost his former status as an aristocrat and is just reckoned as a bandit. What do you think, great king? Take a Brahmin, merchant or worker who breaks into houses, plunders wealth and steals from isolated buildings, commits highway robbery and commits adultery. Suppose your men arrest him and present him to you, saying, Your Majesty, this man is a bandit, a criminal. Punish him as you will. What would you do to him? I would have him executed, fined or banished or dealt with as befits the crime. Why is that? Because he's lost his former status as a Brahmin, merchant or worker and is just reckoned as a bandit. What do you think, great king? If this is so, are the four castes equal or not? Or how do you see this? Certainly, Master Kachana, in this case these four castes are equal. I can't see any difference between them. And here's another way to understand that the claims of the Brahmins are just propaganda. What do you think, great king? Take an aristocrat who shaves off their hair and beard, dresses in ochre robes and goes forth from the lay life to homelessness. They refrain from killing living creatures, stealing and lying. They abstain from eating at night, eat in one part of the day, and are celibate, ethical and of good character. How would you treat them? I would bow to them, rise in their presence or offer them a seat. I'd invite them to accept robes, alms food, lodgings and medicines and supplies for the sick, and I'd arrange for their lawful guarding and protection. Why is that? Because they've lost their former status as an aristocrat, and are just reckoned as an ascetic. What do you think, great king? Take a Brahmin, merchant or worker who shaves off their hair and beard, dresses in ochre robes and goes forth from the lay life to homelessness. They refrain from killing living creatures, stealing and lying. They abstain from eating at night, eat in one part of the day, and are celibate, ethical, and of good character. How would you treat them? I would bow to them, rise in their presence, or offer them a seat. I'd invite them to accept robes, alms food, lodgings, and medicines and supplies for the sick. And I'd arrange for their lawful guarding and protection. Why is that? 
because they've lost their former status as a Brahmin, merchant or worker, and are just reckoned as an ascetic. What do you think, great king? If this is so, are the four castes equal or not? Or how do you see this? Certainly, Master Kachana, in this case these four castes are equal. I can't see any difference between them. This is another way to understand that this is just propaganda. Only Brahmins are the highest caste, other castes are inferior. Only Brahmins are the light caste, other castes are dark. Only Brahmins are purified, not others. Only Brahmins are Brahma's rightful sons, born of his mouth, born of Brahma, created by Brahma, heirs of Brahma. When he had spoken, King Avantiputta of Madura said to Maha Kachana, Excellent, Master Kachana, excellent. As if he were writing the overturned, or revealing the hidden, or pointing out the path to the lost, or lighting a lamp in the dark so people with good eyes can see what's there. Master Kachana has made the teaching clear in many ways. I go for refuge to Master Kachana, to the teaching, and to the mendicant Sangha. From this day forth may Master Kachana remember me as a lay follower who has gone for refuge for life. Great King, don't go for refuge to me. You should go for refuge to that same Blessed One to whom I have gone for refuge. But where is that Blessed One at present, the Perfected One, the Fully Awakened Buddha? Great King, the Buddha has already become fully extinguished. Master Kachana, if I heard that the Buddha was within ten leagues, or twenty, or even up to a hundred leagues away, I'd go a hundred leagues to see him. But since the Buddha has become fully extinguished, I go for refuge to that fully extinguished Buddha, to the teaching, and to the Sangha. From this day forth, may Master Kachana remember me as a lay follower who has gone for refuge for life.